Hello, hi, welcome to science lesson. Today, in our lesson, we are going to see about respiration. So, what is meant by respiration? Respiration is a chemical process that involves the breakdown of nutrient molecules, specifically glucose, in order to release the energy. Next, we see the uses of energy in human body. So what are the uses? The first is muscle contraction and the second is cell division and growth and the third is maintenance of constant body temperature. The fourth is passage of nerve impulses. And the fifth is active transport. And the sixth is protein synthesis. So these are the uses of energy. So now move on to the types of respiration. There are two types of respiration. The first one is aerobic respiration. And the second one is anaerobic respiration. What is mean by aerobic respiration? It is the process of cellular respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen gas to produce energy from food. So the key point to remember is with oxygen. Aerobic respiration equation is glucose plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. It happens at mitochondria. So the chemical equation is C6H2O6 plus 6O2 gives you 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. Next we see about investigating uptake of oxygen by respiring organisms. We can investigate aerobic respiration in living organisms by measuring the amount of oxygen that they take from the air. This is done by measuring the change in volume in an enclosed tube containing the organisms. However, as they respire, the organisms release carbon dioxide which increases the gas volume. The carbon dioxide must therefore be removed from the tube using a chemical like soda lime or sodium hydroxide otherwise it will make up the experiment results inaccurate. Any small organisms can be used in the apparatus including seeds or arthropods. So the apparatus shown is known as respirometer. You can see the picture now. It is called as respirometer. The apparatus consists of two tubes, one containing the living organisms and the other with glass beads to act as a control. Once the apparatus has been set up, the movements of colored liquid towards the insect will give a measure of the volume of oxygen which is taken by the insect for respiration. The reduction of volume in the tube 
increases pressure causing the colored liquid to move. The distance moved by the liquid in a given time is measured will provide the volume of oxygen taken by the insect per minute. Next we move on to the investigating the effect of temperature on the rate of respiration. To investigate the effect of temperature on the rate of respiration of germinating seeds, the respirometer can be set up and the tube submerged in a series of water bath set at different temperature. The seeds should be kept in the water bath for 15 minutes before the start of experiment to ensure they have acclimated to the temperature as respiration is an enzyme controlled reaction it is unlikely to work faster beyond around 40 degrees celsius as the enzyme will denature next we move on to the anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration is the types of respiration through which cells can break down sugars to generate energy in the absence of oxygen so the key point you have to remember is without oxygen without oxygen and less energy is released when glucose is broken to by anaerobically so anaerobic respiration equation glucose is converted into lactic acid plus energy This happens during vigorous exercise and the anaerobic respiration in yeast is the glucose will be broken into alcohol plus carbon dioxide. So anaerobic respiration in yeast, we take advantage of the products of anaerobic respiration in yeast by using it in bread making where the carbon dioxide produced helps to rise the dough and brewing where the ethanol produced to make beer. So you can see the formula below for the anaerobic respiration in yeast. So next we move on to the lactic acid and the oxygen depth. The amount of oxygen required to remove the lactic acid and replace the body's reserves of oxygen is called the oxygen depth. When someone who has been exercising pays back the oxygen debt. So liver is responsible to break down the lactic acid. So let's move on to the comparison of the two types of respiration. See the table below. So the oxygen in aerobic is needed for anaerobic is not needed. And glucose breakdown in aerobic is complete for anaerobic is incomplete and the products for aerobic is carbon dioxide and water and the product for anaerobic is lactic acid carbon dioxide and ethanol the energy release in aerobic is a lot and the energy release in anaerobic is a little so these are the comparison of types of respiration so hope you had understood the topic Thank you.